I keep coming back to a quote that Amy Acton, she was the health official in Ohio right at the beginning of the pandemic. And says, you know, when you look back on pandemics, you never regret what you did, you regret what you don't. Are we going to look at how we've handled this situation? Are we ever going to regret what we did or are we going to regret what we didn't do? Well, I think we've got to do more, Chuck. I mean, I think we've got to do more to ensure that Russia cannot exact these kinds of attacks on civilian targets. And that really requires arming the Ukrainians with additional advanced weaponry so they can take the fight to Russia and deprive Vladimir Putin of any ability to be on the ground in Ukraine. There's some discussion now about whether an off-ramp for Putin would entail him staying in the Donbass, because, of course, his plan A failed. His how, plan B— how, how do you offer him that now? How do, that was an off-ramp that I think a lot of Europeans that's, that's thought was, was— How is it not? Yeah, it's totally closed, right? Totally closed. I don't think Zelensky is going to permit it. I don't think any country in the West is going to strong-arm Zelensky into allowing it. And so I think with attacks like these— And three weeks ago, yep. there were some that were— There were some. Right. And that was part of the discussion. In fact, one of the part, points of the discussion in Istanbul was that the Russians said, we don't want to have any prosecutions on war crimes. You take a look at an attack on a train station like this, targeting civilians, potentially using cluster munitions, a missile where it was written for the children. This missile yeah. is for the children. That's obviously a war crime. It's a